Hey guys, it's T from Driftwood Gaming and I'm here with another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use a button to toggle an event. It's actually really simple. First let me show you what it looks like. In my game you get a torch. And to use the torch you use your game controller or your keyboard to press a button, take it out, and you press the same button and it puts it away. I'm going to show you how to do it, it's pretty simple. Let's go to the event. I chose to use a common event because I'm going to use the torch globally, but you could put it on a single map as well. I called mine button listen. This is a automatically start repeat and parallel event, so it's going to stay on. And I'm assigning a very uh, button to a variable. I'll show you how to do that now. Just click the little plus sign over here and go to variable boxes and advanced variable box operation. There you can choose an event to assign it to. You can choose operation key, which is buttons or keys. And then you have a nifty list of the different keys that you can use. And then you want to make a toggle event. This one is going to have two pages, one for the torch on, one for the torch off. And the first thing it's going to listen to is if that button was pressed. You have to check to see if it's equal to two. I am not entirely sure why it has to be equal to two, but it does. So that's what you do. This is also an automatically start, repeat, and parallel event. And when you turn your torch on, you're going to want to indicate that you turned your torch on with another variable. I called mine torch lit, and now it's on. So you'll notice I have another condition over here. Torch lit is off. So if the torch lit is off and the button is on, it will turn it on. But then if the torch lit is on, we're going to go to page two. Now this page's conditions are met and it will turn the torch off. And so for this, all I did was hide and show an image. It's actually really quite simple, but you could do a lot of cool things with this type of function. And I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Keep watching. We're going to keep putting out Bakin tutorials and have a fabulous day. Bye guys.